it's Wendell again and today we're looking at solving exponential equations. I'm going to start with some simple ones and then gradually increase the level of difficulty. So let us start by saying 2 raised to the x power is equal to say 8. Whenever we're solving exponential functions, we would have to make an effort to ensure that both sides of the equation can be written or is written in the same base. When we say base, we're referring to this is what we call the base and the x is what we call the exponent, right? So it is our duty to make sure that both sides of the equation is written in the same base. So I'll now ask myself, what power of 2 could I raise this to to get 8? What power of 2 do I need to get 8? Well, 2 to the x is the same thing as 2 raised to the third. Because you remember, 2 times 2 times 2 gives us an 8. Now, as soon as we are able to write both equations using the same base, then we could now drop the base. It's on either side, the base would cancel, so we have x is equal to 3. In other words, if I should plug back 3 here and say 2 raised to the third power, I will get 8. That's one situation. Now let's look at another situation. What if we see, okay, 3 raised to the x minus 2 is equal to, to say, 27. Again, we're looking at this where this problem started off with a base of 3. So I would have to make an effort to write 27 using a base of 3. And then, okay, so 3x to the negative 2, 3 raised to the x minus 2 is equal to 3 to the third. Because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And then since we just got the base to be the same on either side, now the base would cancel themselves out, leaving x minus 2, which is equal to 3. And at this time, we'll be solving a regular equation. We will add 2 to both sides. Therefore, x is now equal to 5. So in other words then, if, if x is 5 here, then we will get 3 to the 3, which is 27. All right, let's look at one more. We can sneak in one more little problem. And we're going to just probably let it look a little bit more difficult. What if I see 9 raised to the x plus 1 equals to 20, 27 raised to the x minus 4? When I look at this, both of these, I cannot use a base of 9 to multiply or to get... I can't raise the base of 9 to get 27, and neither can I do that to 27 to get 9. But I do realize that there is a common link between the 9 and the 27. They're both linked to the base of 3, which means I could use 9. I could substitute 9 using a base of 3. So basically, I'm looking at 3 square. Is this still 9? And I have my x plus 1. So basically, this is my 9. My x plus 1 is there still. On this side, 3 raised to the third. Let me write this a little better. 3 raised to the third is 27. But that was already raised to x minus 4. So indirectly, I have just substituted the 9 for 3 raised to the power of 2 and the 27 for 3 raised to the third. At this stage, we're going to employ a little bit of indices. Because whenever we see stuff like this, then the, the bases 
not the base, the powers would multiply. So basically what, what I do have is actually 3 squared with an x plus 1. That's what I really have, which is equal to 3 to the third and the x minus 4. All right? And that's what I really have there. So let's put this off quickly. So we're looking at... So basically, it's up to us. We could, we could drop the base now. This base gets this base. And then we're left with a regular equation. I could now distribute as I bring it down. 2 times x, that's 2x. 2 times 1, that is 2, which is equal to 3 times x, which is 3x. 3 times negative 4, that's negative 12. And let's go a little bit further. We could organize ourselves. I could, um, I, I, well, I could get, I could get the, um, I'm going to gather my, my x's on the right side and gather um, the numbers on the left side. So I would have to subtract, subtract 2x from both sides. Also, I need to add 12 to both sides because um, this would cancel out that and this would cancel out that. So I'm reorganizing myself. So on this side, basically, I would have 14, which is now equal to 3x minus 2x, which is equal to 1x, and we just call that x. So at the end of the day, there it is, my answer. My answer is 14, all right? My answer is 14, all right? Thank you for watching.